So I'll start now. So I'm not going to take much time. I'll show like what we are going to do. Because tomorrow you're going to have another one session. Education psychology, how to approach the MCQs, how to manage time and all. So I'm not going to go into more details. I'm going to show some, some tasks. So what is Levantium plan? Levantium means Latin elevation. Yes, so you are like lagging behind, we are going to elevate you. Nothing else, just elevation. So this is a plan which is composed of certain things. So we are working with the statistics. Because we are going to tell you what is the most important thing to study, what you can skip at. So it's about statistics. Very important thing what I include here is educational psychology. Many things I explain here are from educational psychology. Academics of course, dietetics because you know that one big mistake we do also. We eat a lot before going to study. So once you eat especially carbohydrates, you know that you know, when you eat a lot of carbohydrates, your brain actually starts to slow down. Let's not go into mechanism, molecular mechanism. Once you study back, actually you can understand. Which amino acid will go more once you eat a lot of carbohydrates, it will give soothing effect. So you feel drowsy once you eat a lot of carbohydrates. And also once you eat too much before studying, what will happen? Blood flow will be diverted to your GIT. So brain is going to have deficiency. So you feel sleepy. Your brain shuts down. So we are following dietetic protocols, we are providing enough carbohydrate, fat and also like proteins with enough fibers. We are following a format here. We are going to provide you a dietetic chart and we are following the protocols there, that is very important. Physical exercise, once again, mind is a function of your brain. If you want to keep your mind healthy, your body should be healthy. So physical exercise, not too much, I'm not going to ask you to go to gym and do like dumbbells for one hour. It will be very minute exercises necessary to boost your mental and physical health. Of course, discipline is very important because what happens usually to everyone? First day, once you go to university, you really want to study a lot. Especially once you go to university for the first semester, I really want to study. I want to study grades, I want to study Gifiora, I want to study like Langman's embryology. One week passes. I'm a little tired. Two weeks passes. And probably I should go for like reviews. Three weeks passes. Four weeks passes. Be with you, okay? The long time. Everyone is lazy, including me. So if there is someone to push you, it's like keep it in mind. These five months are like exactly like you are preparing for a marathon. It is a marathon race. FMG, preparing for FMG. You should not stop until you are over, you are done, until you pass. But usually what happens, it is physiology, we get tired. So let's do it tomorrow. But tomorrow's topic can you do it. So don't let your mind and body to slack off until you are done. If you feel tired, you don't mind, we are going to push you. That's discipline. So compared to other institutes, what we are providing, of course, dietetics, educational psychology, nobody does, we are doing, we are going to counsel you. Every week you can counsel. Is it clear? Last thing, exercise, which is supervised by either me or one of the guys from our side. Who is an athlete? Anyhow. Last is very important, this is discipline. So if you have to study three hours, make sure you start. It's for you. 